hello this is calendars 4 in this i will continue with basics and questions on calendars now first january if first january 1601 this is actually monday now what will be the day on first january 1701 exactly 100 years exactly after 100 years now in 100 years there will be total we have 100 years exactly 100 years in between in 100s year there will be 100 odd days straight away as i told you that same date to same date one year one odd day two years two odd days 100 years same date to same date gap will be 100 odd days but we have to count the extra odd days that will be come on 20 that will come on 29th of february so how many leap years comes in how many times 29th february come we will count here 1st February 29th will come on 1604, then 1608, so on till 1696. Year number 1700, remember that 1700, I am just writing here on the top, 1700, year 1700 will not be a leap year because century year is a leap year only when divisible by 400. So these how many years we have 1604 to 1694 there are four uh, two into one you can say that this is four into one year number four this is four into two and this is four into 24 so total 24 leap years and in these 24 leap years there will be 20, 24 times 29th february will come so how many times 29 February is coming? 24 times. So total odd days are 124. If you divide this by 7, 7 17s are 119. So total will be 5 odd days. I am just making a circle. Total there will be 5 odd days. Same way if you count here, there will be also 5 odd days. Now Saturday plus 5 would be how much? Saturday plus 1 is Sunday. Sunday plus 4 is Thursday. Again, this 5 odd days, 100 year gap, same date to same days. Now, Thursday plus 5, Thursday is 4th day, 4th plus 5, 9, 9 means Tuesday, divided by 7, 2 will be remainder, Tuesday, or you can straight away count, Thursday, then one day would be Friday, two day would be Saturday, third day would be Sunday, fourth is Monday, and fifth is Tuesday. Now, now here the twist will come, look at this, 1901 to 2001 here again i have 100 complete years so 100 odd days for 100 complete years plus you can say that here how many leap years will come from here to here there will be 25 leap year how because 1904 will be leap year 1908 will be leap year 1996 will be leap year but very very important year 2000 will also be leap year so there are total 25 leap years or you can say that 25 times 29th of February will come. So we will add this. Now 125 total odd days divided by 7, 7, 17, 119. There will be 6 odd days. So very very important 6 odd day, days after Tuesday. Now Tuesday plus C, Tuesday is my second day, second plus 6, 8, 8 divided by 7, 1. Again this will be a Monday. Now what we have learned in this 100 year gap same date to same date 100 year gap there will be 5 odd days without century year as a leap year but 100 year gap same date to same date will have 6 odd days in this case why so because 2 year 2000 is a century leap year so what we have learned again I am revising 100 year gap without century leap year. Here is a 100 year gap without century leap year. Total number of odd days will be always 5. Whereas a 100 year gap with century leap year that is year 2000 in this case there will be 6 odd days. Let me take an example then the concept will be very much clear to you. Now here are a few examples. 8th of April 1878 is Friday. What will be the day on 8th of April 1978? This is exactly 100 year gap. Now 100 year gap this is without without century leap year century leap year CLY because year number 1900 is not a leap year. So 
there will always be five odd days so five odd days friday plus five friday plus two is sunday sunday plus three is wednesday so the answer would be wednesday look at the second case 5th of march 1596 is friday 5th of march 1696 again a 100 year gap with with century leap year because year number 1600 is a century leap year so there will always be six odd days so friday plus 6 friday plus 2 is sunday sunday plus 4 is thursday that is the only thing i want to say 100 year gap without century leap year only five odd days whereas 100 year gap with century leap year there will be six odd days now of 8th march 1365 is friday what would be the day on 8th march 1665 now we will move first 100 year we will calculate 8th march 1465 now gap of 100 year without century leap year because year 1400 is not a century leap year five odd days then we will move to 8th of march 1565 1565 again no century leap year five odd days again 100 year gap 1565 to 1665 but with a century leap year of 1600 so there will be six odd days so total would be 5 plus 5 10 plus 6 16 odd days 16 again divided by 7 7 to the 14 that is 2 so two odd days miss friday plus 2 sunday so if 8th of march 1365 is friday then 8th of march 1665 is sunday now that concept i'm going to told you is very very important concept 8th of july 1362 is monday then 8th of july 1762 exactly gap of 400 years now very very important same date to same date with a gap of 400 years there will be zero odd days finally there will be zero odd days and this will be the same day very very important gap of 400 year gap of 400 year exact 400 years gap there will be always zero or days how i will just calculate with you now 8th of july to 8th of july 8 7 then first will come 1462 then 8th of july 1562 then it will come 8th of july 1662 and then finally 8th of july 1762 this is what we need to calculate now here how many days 100 year gap there will be five odd days because 1400 is known century 1400 is a century now 8th of july 1362 to 8th of july 1462 there are exactly gap of 100 years with year 1400 is not a leap year so five odd days Here to here, again a gap of hundred year without century leap year. Again there will be five odd days. Here to here again, look at this. Here to here, fifteen sixty two to sixteen sixty two, gap of hundred year with century leap year with century leap year. Century leap year will be sixteen hundred because this is divisible by four hundred. This will be leap year. There will be six odd days. Again sixteen to uh, here to here there will be five odd days. If you calculate six plus five plus five ten ten plus six sixteen plus five twenty one twenty one odd days means twenty one by seven. So total twenty odd days are just writing here twenty one twenty one means divided by seven zero odd days. So very very important a gap of four year four hundred years gap of four hundred years will always have zero odd days. Now we know that the first date on the calendar was first day on the calendar was Monday first January zero zero one Monday. now the gap of 400 year same day monday if this will also be a monday this will also be a monday and this will also be a monday so first january is 001 0401 801 1201 600 same way first january 2001 this will be a monday same 2401 so this will be these these will be the benchmark days to calculate uh, the questions in the faster manner let me discuss a question with you now Question is eighth of March seventeen hundred eleven. What will be the day on eighth of March seventeen hundred eleven? Now, this question can be solved very easily. 
first go to the benchmark date first january 1601 that would be monday i told you in the previous slide now go to 100 year hat first january 1701 100 year gap with 1700 is is a non leap year so there will be five odd days five odd days now move to the first jan 1711 10 year gap now 10 year gap i told you that 10 year gap one year gap one odd day 10 year gap there will be 10 straight odd days 10 year gap there will be 10 straight odd days and there will be extra odd days for leap year how many leap year are coming this is 04 1704 and 1708 there will be two leap years so two extra odd days so total there are 12 odd days first january 2 One seven zero one to first January one seven zero one. Now move to straight away eighth of March, eighth of March seventeen double one. So how many odd days will come? Now January month after first of January there are thirty days, thirty days in the month of January. Then February this is non leap year. February this is twenty eight days, and March I have total eight days. Now calculate the odd days. Now thirty. By seven, there is two. Twenty-eight by seven, this is zero, and eight by seven, this is one. So total total is two plus one, three or days in this period. Now total count this five plus twelve, seventeen plus three. This is twenty or days in total. Five plus twelve, seventeen plus three, three twenty or days. So first of January to eighth of March, there are total. Five plus twelve, seventeen plus three, twenty odd days divided by seven. Twenty by seven, this is seven to the fourteen. The remainder is six. So six odd days finally. So Monday plus six would be seventh day. That is Sunday. So eighth of March, seventeen hundred would be your Sunday, and that will be your final answer. So that was all about this lesson. In next lesson, I will continue with more on.